Okay, welcome back everybody and uh, this is a very different video. You're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing, but um, today I'm going to be making some scones as the title of the video suggests. Now, I did promise my students at the university um, that the, the last week of the semester I would introduce a little bit of uh, British culture. Not that there's much of that left these days, but uh, um, rather than do anything Christmassy, um, I thought, well, let's be a little bit different and uh, let's do some scones, yeah. So I watched a YouTube video, Jamie Oliver, and I thought uh, it was only three and a half minutes long, and I thought, wow, this, it seems incredibly easy. I've never done this before. This is absolutely the first time I've even attempted this. No practice at all, and I'm putting this on video. So. Let's see how this goes. So what we'll do, we'll go through the ingredients first. So I'll put this up on the screen anyway. So what do we got here? We, uh, it says here, difficulty, super easy. Uh, should only take uh, 35 minutes. And it makes 16 to 20 scones. Now I, I think I'm gonna double up on these ingredients because I need sort of closer to uh, 60, but I think 40 should be enough. Right, so we need 100, uh, we're not going to put any dried fruit in it, 150 grams cold unsalted butter, uh, 500 grams self-raising flour, two level teaspoons of baking powder, two heaped teaspoons golden caster sugar, two large free range eggs and four tablespoons of milk, plus a little extra for brushing. So we're going to double up on these ingredients. So here we go, we've got our self-raising flour. Yeah, I'm recording a video. What are you doing? No, 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 no. What's he doing? What's he doing? <clears throat> okay, good. Okay, all right. You got self-raising flour, have you? Yeah, but that's... Oh, okay, all right. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Oh, just that, just that. I thought... Because he was mixing it with the bad flour. Because that was the first attempt flour, you see? Oh, so is that the self-raising flour? A few moments later. Oh, really? Oh, looks, looks revolting. But we'll put that there for now. Okay, so we're going to grab the flour. Okay, uh, here we go. Put this in the bowl. We got uh, one kilogram or 1,000 grams of, it's supposed to be self-raising flour. We shall see. Um, and then we have our butter, which is, uh, in this case, 300 grams of butter. Okay, so we'll put that in. What is he doing? Okay, so, right, can you tell him he needs to stay out of the video? <laughs> yeah, because the video is running now, yeah, 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 okay. Okay, love it, see ya, So I'm adding, let's add 300 grams of butter. Good, right. Okay, and we have the baking powder and the sugar. Let's put that in. Now it does say here, we just mix it together, right? So it should be... Jamie Oliver makes this look easy. And I think, well, the milk. We need to put the milk in after we've mixed this together with our hands. Okay, so next thing, we need to make a well in the middle. We need to add our two eggs, or in this case, four eggs. Okay, here we go. <laughs> One. God, the shells are very thin. I made a right mess of that. Two. Three, four. Oh my god, I hope this works. And some milk, right? It said a splash of milk. 
put a bit of that in. I might add some more in a moment. Okay. There we go. My God. A bit more. Not too bad. Right, he did say, don't work it too much. Just. Okay, that's it. So all we need to do now is put some cling film on that and put it in the fridge for 15 minutes. So that's what we'll do. We'll see you in 15 minutes. 15 minutes later. Right, okay, so we're back. Uh, that's uh, the dough out of the fridge. So what we're gonna do, there's quite a lot here, I think. So we're gonna take half of it to begin with. We'll put a bit of, uh, I suppose we'll put a bit of flour down. There, okay. Whoops, I'm losing stuff there. Right, okay, so. I assume just roll it out, right? <laughs> Bit of milk on each one. Milk or olive oil, I think. But the, they're not very rustic, are they? A little bit more. So there we have it. Uh, as you can see, some. Uh, well, we haven't actually tasted them yet, have we? Um, we, we should probably try one. Um, should we? Should we cut this open? Okay. Welcome to. <laughs> welcome to store. This is uh, this is uh, Lao Ban uh, or the boss. And, uh, he was very kind enough to let let us use the kitchen today. So thank you very much. <laughs> well, what, what's your name again? Tell me your name in Chinese. Uh, Yang Yu Yang Yu Ping. Ah, do you have an English name? Yang Yu Ming Zima. Mei Yong. Mei Yong. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we, we'll try this. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Let's um, we'll cut this one open. Hopefully, I don't know. Have a go. You and I. Yeah. What do you think? Hot. Mmm, that's good. It's a bit dry, but. We should have jam and cream on this as well, you see. And maybe a bit of butter. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I mean they're they're meant to be eaten with something sweet. Okay guys, that's it. Um Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I've just proved to you how simple this entire process is and how fast it is. It's taken us, uh, I think, two hours, two and a half hours, uh, a lot of messing around. Uh, if I was to do it again, uh, it would take uh, a much shorter time, of course. But uh, okay, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye bye.